Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's been a while. Okay, so today uh, I will be talking about the uh, QD link, right? Uh, but this time I am going to use the iPhone, right? Uh, previously, I have made a similar content, but uh, in that video, I was using the Android phone. Yeah, so I was testing the Android phone with the QD Link system, right? So now I'm gonna make a separate video. Uh, so I'm gonna use the iPhone to connect to the QD Link on this Proton Persona MC2, right? So if you have not checked out my previous video uh, on the QD Link tutorial using the Android phone. Uh, I think you can also check that out, especially if you are using an Android phone, right? Because uh, that is a detailed review, okay? But this one, I think it's gonna be a shorter review since uh, we are using the iPhone. So I guess it's quite similar in a way, only uh, there are a few things that differ, right? So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. So the iPhone is also compatible with this uh, Proton system, right? And all you need is just a uh, charging cable. And all you need to do is to plug in your charging cable to the last USB slot right here. So make sure you use the third one because only this one is the uh, data transfer uh, slot, right? So it doesn't work with any other slot if you want to use the QD link you must only use the third USB slot okay so yeah uh, connecting the iPhone to the QD link system is fairly easy right uh, compared to the Android phone I think the Apple uh, Apple iOS is easier to connect to this uh, infotainment system okay there are actually pros and cons okay but now we're just gonna talk about the pros first and then we'll get into the cons okay so uh, connecting your iPhone to this system is really easy okay like I said earlier uh, all you need is just your charging cable and you have to plug it into the uh, USB slot the third one okay and once you plug it in you are able to use the screen mirroring feature straight away okay so what you need to do is uh, after you plug in your cable all you need to do is you just press this uh, QD link icon and there the screen mirroring works immediately right see I'm now swiping my phone and you can see it appears on the screen as well so whatever that is on my phone screen is now appearing on the infotainment screen right so in terms of uh, convenience I think the iPhone is much more uh, convenient compared to the Android phones right because uh, with the Android phone you have to like uh, download the QD link app right but with uh, this iPhone you don't have to download the QD link app in fact you can't find the app in the App Store right so all you need is just one cable plug it in to the USB slot and you can already get screen mirroring okay uh, but with the Android phone if you watch my previous video you will have to uh, go through a series of steps right so it's more uh, inconvenient in my opinion right you will have to download the QD link app uh, in the Android Play Store and then you will have to connect your charging cable to the USB slot and then you will have to connect your phone to the Bluetooth so if you don't connect your phone to the Bluetooth then you are not able to fully utilize the car speaker right so for example if you play a video on YouTube uh, the sound will not come out from the speakers instead it will come out from your phone right so that's why with Android phone you have to connect your phone to the Bluetooth so that uh, whenever you play a video the sound will come out from the car speakers right so yeah there are a lot of steps 
if you are using the Android phone okay but with the iPhone it's simple once you plug in the cable you are able to access screen mirroring straight away see I'm able to use uh, the phone okay so uh, let's try to play a video on YouTube okay so uh, maybe we try to open up the YouTube okay okay here it is YouTube uh, maybe let's uh, play a song or something All right stranger things okay uh, let's play this song right so as you can see the screen mirroring works and the speaker works so you can hear that the sound is coming out from the car speaker so it's a good thing so it means that the screen mirroring works perfectly fine and all you need is a cable so yeah guys as you can see the sound is coming out from the speakers and uh, the video is also being played at the screen right here so I guess uh, the screen mirroring works okay so uh, let's try something else so yeah uh, before I forget you will have to enable your uh, screen rotation if you want to make the screen uh, full screen right if you want to turn it to full screen because if you don't uh, enable your screen rotation originally it will be like this like a uh, vertical right portrait mode but if you want it to be full screen you have to tilt your phone like this so that it goes to landscape mode right so this is the only way to uh, make the screen go to landscape mode okay so make sure you turn on your screen rotation okay so now let's uh, try maybe Google Maps or something navigation apps uh, all right okay let's try Google Maps right so as usual you will have to tilt your phone so that it goes to landscape mode right so you are also able to access your navigation with this uh, screen mirroring feature right so it's the same like uh, the Android phone except for the Android phone you have actually a uh, separate uh, navigation menu where you can access all these uh, navigation apps but for iPhone everything is dependent on your phone so whatever you do on your phone is being displayed here right so you are actually accessing your phone here okay so yeah guys I guess the screen mirroring works so that's good news but now unfortunately we have to uh, go into the cons so now I'm gonna tell you the downside of connecting the Apple iPhone to your QD link on your Proton Persona MC2 okay unfortunately guys uh, in terms of connectivity in terms of convenience I guess the Apple iPhone wins because it's uh, easier to connect right because all you need is just one cable so if you look at it that way then I guess uh, the iPhone is more convenient because it's so easy to connect to the screen mirroring feature right you can just directly use the screen mirroring as soon as you just connect the cable to the USB slot but there is a major downside with screen mirroring and that is when you drive all of a sudden this screen mirroring feature will get disabled so you can't use anything while you are driving because obviously the screen is going to show up some kind of warning right saying that it's dangerous to drive while 
looking at your phone right so basically when you are driving the whole screen here will get disabled and you can't do anything about it so it means that you can't access your YouTube you can't access social media and what I find most annoying is you can't even access your navigation apps right so that is a major downside so there is no point connecting your phone to this system if you can't even use the navigation app especially if your uh, your original plan is to use Waze or Google Maps or something like that right and it's totally gone you have no reason to connect your phone to this uh, infotainment screen because you can't use it so yeah that's a major downside guys right at least with Android phones the Android phone when you go into drive at least you have the choice to uh, go into apps like Waze or uh, Google Maps because the QD link app has a separate menu for navigation alone which means when you drive you are able to use the navigation apps but you still can't use the screen mirroring apps so that's why with the Google uh, app I mean the Google version of QD link which you have to download separately right so that app gives you like a uh, a way to access your navigation apps while you are driving right so that is a good thing about the Android phone although the Android phone is uh, a little bit harder to set up right you have to go through a lot of steps but at least you can still use the navigation while you are driving so uh, in my opinion that's a strong point in terms of uh, the Android phones right so that's a major strong point when it comes to Android phones uh, because when you install the QD link app on the Android phone uh, you will get a separate menu a QD link separate menu and in that menu itself you can choose to uh, go into navigation or you can add shortcuts or play media and stuff like that it has a separate uh, menu for you to uh, play with the settings and stuff but for this it's just direct screen mirroring so all it does it just shows you whatever that is being displayed on your phone so basically it is like uh, a bigger screen to just display whatever that is on your phone right so I guess uh, if you look at it that way then the iPhone is actually not uh, that's suitable for this car right because for the reason that I mentioned earlier that you can't use the navigation apps so that's a major turn off okay guys so I'm going to show you what I mean when I say that uh, you are not able to use the navigation app while you are driving because obviously when you drive the screen mirroring feature just uh, shut off right it doesn't allow you to screen mirror when you are driving because obviously for security reasons right so let me show you what I mean so let's uh, let's go into the navigation app uh, let's try Google Maps okay okay Google Maps so this thing now it's showing on the screen because we are not driving yet Right, so we are still in parking mode and our handbrake is still uh, up right so the instant you put down your handbrake right so I have already put down my handbrake and you'll see this thing comes out right so it says please do not use video or any other ent entertainment functionality during your driving right so Obviously, when you drive, you have to put down your uh, handbrake, right? And the instant you put down your handbrake, this thing is going to pop out. So whatever uh, excess you have before, it's going to like uh, shut down because you can't use your phone anymore. 
so obviously whatever apps that you have opened before this you are no longer able to access it right so that's the only downside you can't really use anything any apps while you're driving so there is no point connecting your iPhone to this thing right so that's a major uh, major disappointment right for those who are using the iPhone like how are you going to support how are you going to use ways right so it it means that you have to use the uh, built-in Atlas navigation system okay but once you like uh, pull up this thing and then you can use the screen navigation again right so yeah that's a major turn off to be honest with Android phones you don't get this at least with the Android phones you still get to use the navigation app because it has a separate menu that allows you to uh, use the navigation app while you're driving so you can actually use Waze or Google Maps while driving on the road if you have an Android phone but with an iPhone you can't do that so yeah if you look at it from that uh, point then I guess actually overall the Android phone is actually better for this system compared to iPhone right because uh, at least with Android you are able to use some features but with the iPhone it is limited especially when you are driving but in terms of connectivity I think uh, the iPhone wins because it's easier to connect with the iPhone but in terms of practicality I think the Android wins so yeah guys that's all for today I hope this information has been useful for you right uh, especially if you plan to connect your phone to the QD link system and if you have not checked out my previous video and you are an Android user you would probably want to check that out okay so yeah guys thank you for watching and thank you for supporting uh, my channel uh, hope to see you again in the future if you like the contents that I have been making uh, please consider subscribing to my channel right so thank you see you again in the future take care bye bye